Greetings one and all and welcome to another episode of Simstress The College Years. We are arriving here oh. at Ruby's dorm. Packing up and moving out. Congratulations, Ruby has graduated from university. It's now time to move on to her next adventure. Ruby should spend some time packing up anything that's hers before moving to a new place. So as you see, I'm gonna pause this. Everybody has completed their, um, their program, their degree programs. They've all completed 12 credits. Miss Ruby has completed hers with, I believe she still has her A plus average. And the boys I think have either a B or a B plus average. So everybody did really well. And I'm really excited to say that she has, since we're in her dorm, she has made some really good friends and she found herself a boyfriend. I know, right? Can you believe it? We don't have anything else, just the laptop. So that's being packed up. Anything else we want to take with us? Your little bust we can't take. Oh, that's sad. She has 8 million lumps of clay from her experience. There's Dad! Hi, Dad! Um, enthused about iambic pentameter. Yep, she has a uh, language and literature degree, so that makes sense. As for loan, no, we don't need a loan. We saved most of our money because we got a full ride for Miss Ruby. So she's getting ready to leave. Aww. Aww. I can't believe it. So exciting. Okay, we had some cake. Woody is dancing and packing up. Here it is almost over. I'm excited about it. We are getting ready to head out of here. It's our last day at university. It went by quickly, didn't it? Let's do it. Yes. Yay, Ruby's moving back in. All right, Mr. Arthur. Mr. Arthur also has a girlfriend, Ashlyn. They are, um, she's got a few quirks. She's noncommittal and jealous, but they've been getting along really, really well. And I think um, they're gonna be dating once he leaves school. I'm not sure where she's headed. She's got a job already, I think. So she's still around, she's in town. So that means we'll be able to visit her anytime. Here's our roommate. How you doing, Connor? They hang out all the time and somehow they've never been introduced. Snappy growl. Rip a Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> They have not, I don't think we took them on an official date, although Ruby and Kyle have been on a date wow. and it was quite romantic. I wish you could have seen it. Carzini Sequinaria. <laughs> Talk about the sunny weather. Why don't you sit with her? No, they're, they're just, okay. What, what's the matter? What? Well, we'll just keep flirting with her. <laughs> Oh. Well, no, oh, because we have to go to the bathroom. Is that why? Oh, yes. that's a little serious. <laughs> Let's not talk so, about engagement yet. Sleep. Aw, she said yes. Aw, <laughs> special. <laughs> he is thrilled. Oh, new partner. Peachy. So that relationship is the thing now. Oh, dude, you have some problems in there. Elvis is having trouble in the bathroom. Oh, that was a sad joke. If you're old enough to get that. Anyway. Come on, don't be depressed. Are we going to do this, guys? Or are we just going to stand out front? Can we get a picture? Oh, oh, hello. Mascot is here. 
Spinet? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, both mascots are here. So we've got Lobster Larry and also Darby the Dragon. I didn't know you guys came to graduation. Is that a thing? Is it like a pep rally <laughs> instead of a formal ceremony? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yep, somebody's about to lose their head. Their costume head, you know what I mean. It's just, it's just uh, levitating. Max, oh my gosh, both Max Thin and Max Fat within a lifetime. He was actually Max Fat. Whoa. Moving with Alan, going home to the Simstras. And Ruby and Dad. Okay, here we go. He's still wearing his robe from graduation. Oh, it's the graduation gown. Oh, everybody just standing there. Say hi to mom, honey. Anything? Anything? <laughs> Oh, no, he's out of here. Out of here. He's going to use the bathroom. Oh, he's so happy to be home. Why those shoes, though? They can't be comfortable. They're so pointy. And the ankle strap. Okay, well, welcome home, sweetie. Here we are. Sir Oscars. He went from a C average to an A. Oh. Because of his intense hard work, he had no side hobbies, and he also does not have a significant other. So he has kept himself really focused and improved his work, and he's done a great job. He already graduated while we were working with Arthur earlier. So we missed Ruby's and Oscar's graduation, but they're definitely ready to move on. Um, and let's see, um, they have the uh, bag on the head thing going on here. Gosh, um, I swear that any of these are going to kill me. So, um, Oscar's computer broke, like, immediately. This place is so messy, um, compared to the other dorms. His computer broke almost immediately, so apart from his homework, which he really doesn't need anymore. Yay! Uh, play for 24 hours. Well, not really, we just didn't turn it off. Anyway. We don't have anything to take, so pretty much Oscar can leave as soon as they tell him that he's allowed to leave. Right now, he's really excited about watching One Iron Chef. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so there's his uh, cardboard dance floor. I think he'll just leave it here for posterity. We don't really need that in our inventory. Let's see what's in our inventory. It's Ruby with a bag on her head. Hey, Ruby. Excuse me? Is that... What just happened? What? Why Why are you... That, is that really her? It is. Why Why are you flirting with this person? You're dating Kyle. Oh, good heaven. Moving back in with the parents. There we go. Why are you still in your graduation robe and in Ruby's room? This is your room. Assign bed to Arthur. Assign bed to Oscar. I guess that's all forgotten once they move out. And assign bed to Ruby. So Oscar can go. Okay. You come over here and do whatever you're doing. Uh, we're going to find a job. How about that? That's a good thing to do. You go to your room. And we're gonna find a job. And Ruby, where's Ruby? She's standing looking clueless and thinking about cake. Uh, Woody is gardening. Are you serious right now? Oh yeah, we got some planners uh, over here on the balcony while the kids were at school. Okay, he did psychology, so What can we do? Psychology, psychology. Hmm. Professor? 
think that's probably what Ruby's going to get into. Or she'll be a writer, like her mom. We're not going to be a fast food employee. Um, yeah, let's be a professor. Perfect. Because of his degree, he gets higher pay. Good job, Oscar. Okay. What does that mean we have to do? Oh. The world is your oyster. We'll just put that there. Uh, where is your graduation picture, though? Oh, he got a signing bonus because of his degree. That's great. That is really great. We're going to grade homework. Do it. All right. And what can we do? You need to change, sweetheart. <laughs> Having a little contab. How come you didn't continue on to look for... Uh, I asked you to look for a job, dude. Well, he's amazing at robotics and computer stuff. So, let's find him something that goes with that. Okay, so Oscar's diploma is not in his inventory, but this one is. And his picture... We didn't get to see any of Oscar's stuff. Something happened. Something glitched out on us. I don't know. Do we want that right on the desk? <laughs> we'll put it up there. Oh, somebody destroyed that dollhouse back there. Okay. Let's see. Not a civil engineer. Computer engineer. He does have that degree. I think this is the job for him. <gasps> Look at the pay. $305 an hour. You go, honey. He's been awarded a signing bonus of $2250 because of his degree. Yes, we will take the assignment. Where's hers? All right, there's his degree. He can hang that up in his room. Yes, he can. And we might just have to commandeer that um, playroom. I'm going to move over here. Okay, over his desk. Perfect. Ruby, where's yours, honey? I thought I saw hers already in her inventory, but I guess not. Well, hopefully it'll come in the mail. And until then, what are you complaining about? You're overheating. Well, honey, go change the thermostat. You're an adult. You can do these things. Cooler. You're right there, even. Perfect. So everybody's got an amazing job. Oh, no. And guess what's next? We're going to have to redo this playroom. I can't believe somebody broke the dollhouse while we were gone. How bizarre. Um... I feel like, yeah, we're just going to go to build mode and fix this and be back. Okay, so we're back and we've put some simple things in here. A couch for when he's exhausted working, a little mini fridge and a stereo, and his robotic station so that he can get to work on some things. So I'm going to have him tinker so he can raise his skill. And I think Oscar is grading homework, which is awesome. Yeah, everybody must be super proud. And Miss Ruby, we have work to do, sweetheart. Oh, wow. The kitchen is... What is with the cakes again? Oh, wow. Is Sakamoto still here? Uh, maybe you can come clean up. This is gross. I don't understand why all my sim houses seem to be having this cake baking problem right now. It's really disconcerting. Uh, repair, mop, you have a lot of cleaning to do. Ruby, we've got to go. 
go into your room. Oh, Simster's just checking out the robotic station. Um, let's go to Ruby's computer. Am I detecting some lag today? Perhaps. Find a job. On the road to fame. Okay. Well, we already knew that. So, goodbye. What makes a sim turn neutral? Have a sim stay in the fine emotion for 48 straight hours. Oh, wow. We have a lot of achievements. Wow. Lots of max level achievements. Why? Are these all seamstresses or somebody else's? Did they do a lot of stuff while we were gone, I guess? Okay, Miss Ruby, I think we're going for author. We might have to start there um, because she's gotten pretty good. She's published a couple of books and then see where she wants to take it after that. Oh yeah, having a relevant university degree means her position comes with higher pay once again. Not quite the same as the engineer position that Arthur's holding, but she also got a signing bonus and yeah, now get to writing, girlfriend. So we're gonna write a book. She's already met the requirements while in school. And, um, honey, where are you going? Right, genre book, uh, nonfiction. Yep, don't go over there, that's not your problem. So, <laughs> it looks like the parents are a little stressed out. You've decided you're not, are you gonna clean something or are you not gonna clean something? I'm so confused. Um, and Woody missed work, apparently, just for no, absolutely no reason. We're gonna stick with that. Water shutoff day has ended. That might explain why some things are in disarray. It looks like everybody has got their stuff together. Every kid has a really good job, high paying stuff that they have a degree for now, which is amazing. That was easy. That made her flirty? I'm so confused. Oh look, Woody's actually getting his handiness skill up. That's a plus. What? Oh my gosh, what has happened? What? Woody Allen is dying? What? Where is he? Shibbler, that's a barn shot. She will piss a food to dip a very noise out. Gives a list of very noise out. See the frivolous, give see the frivolous. You would judge a crimson, less simple mythic. Please go. Give see the frivolous. Shibber darn busy, we will hold a lot. Um, hello? See the frivolous, since it's been cried. Dixie bun a biffit, while a tumble out. Shibber job a fippin', John Gubber nine. Okay, we're gonna plead. We're pleading. <laughs> um, excuse me, Sunstress? What? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, we need to turn this off. Why are you thinking about Oscar? Ah, soup not bored. Uh, he's still, uh, why, why are you going to go talk to our son? Mama, are you feeling well, Fins? Uh, How are we feeling like that, Fins? Can I be used to it? Can I just watch this happen? I'm not a man, too. 
Um, hello? What? Why Opa. are you talking to him? What's not? This is not appropriate. Uh -uh. Yeah. here and talk to him. Okay, we're gonna offer the ghost a massage. He does not look happy at all. Uh oh, oh, Woody. So <laughs> okay, let's let's try this. Ask to be boyfriend. Wow. Okay. I'm so confused. Oh, think well. Okay. Joba? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the most bizarre thing that's ever happened. But you were married. You were. We already asked him to be boyfriend. We're not gonna woo woo. Oh my god. Don't go, don't leave. Don't go anywhere. You can't leave. No, wait, don't sleep in a guest room. She didn't wash her hands, that's gross. Yeah. Aw, it's just like when they were first married. He still doesn't know what's going on. He's sad, but... <laughs> Where Arthur saw him on the ground. And Ruby's asleep? What? Ruby? Oh, there she is in her bed. Okay, I don't know why it didn't take me straight to Ruby. Honey, do you want to talk to your dad? Okay, so we have to get him into our household. Now I'm desperately trying to find this. She's going to suavely kiss the ghost. Oh my gosh, who saw this coming? I, I'm devastated. Become best friends. Oh my gosh, we have to do our relationship all over again, but with him as a ghost? Oh, Simsters and Ruby are no longer best friends. This is the most horrible episode ever. You graduate from college, you come back home, you get a great career, and then your father dies. Oh gosh, guys, I cannot. I don't think I can take any more today. I think we have to stop for today because I can't take any more. Um, thanks for watching and I hope um, 
Yeah, I don't know if you enjoyed this one, but do come back and find out what happened. I am at a loss. Until next time, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy, not trying to marry a ghost, and that you have a beautiful day. <laughs>